What's going on YouTube? Dio aka Bonds Urban Tech Reviews and today on the channel I'm going to be doing a review of the Apple Watch Series 4. Now you can get this on uh, apple.com and there's a couple different prices if you want the uh, just a single GPS model then it's going to run you 399 bucks and if you want the GPS plus the cellular model it's going to run you 499 bucks. All right, so let me tell you what comes in the box. You get the stainless steel case, which is this. You get a sport band, which is just half of this. There's another half too, but I just broke this out to show you how to connect and disconnect it. You get your uh, charging cable, which is this right here, magnetic charging cable. And you get a five watt USB power adapter. Now, um, it's just your standard 5 watt adapter that comes with all your iPhones and stuff like that. Nothing to write home about. All right, a couple different color options that you can get with this too. You can get it with the uh, silver aluminum case with the white band, the gold aluminum case with the pink band, the space gray aluminum case with the black band. And that's what I got, the space gray aluminum case with the black band. You see, the space gray aluminum case on that. Now, if you, you know, balling and stuff like that, you can get the Nike Plus model as well as the Hermes model. Um, those are more expensive and you can check the prices on Apple.com for those. It comes in two different case sizes. Now, the case sizes is the size of like this, you know, the case. And uh, it comes in 40 millimeter and I got the 44 millimeter. All right, so two sizes for those. Memory, you get 16 gigabytes of memory, 760 byte, 768 megabytes of RAM. Uh, you get Watch OS 5, and you get a uh, built-in rechargeable lithium-ion battery. You get the uh, S4 chip, 64-bit dual-core processor. I'm gonna tell you a couple of features about this. Now, mind you, this is my first Apple Watch, first time I ever had one, and uh, I'm gonna tell you a couple of features about it. And then we'll get into, you know, personal stuff and I'll go through the watch and stuff like that. Now you get an all new design with the largest display that they've ever put on the Apple Watch. A new electrical heart sensor. You get a re-engineered digital crown with haptic feedback. You get new curved corners, proactive heart monitor, uh, low and high notifications, fall detection, and emergency SOS. Um, you get an ECG, which is an electrocardiogram, um, workout detection, sweat, surf, and swim proof, water resistant up to 50 meters. You can turn the dial on the crown right here to eject water from the speaker using a burst of sound. Um, activity tracker, um, you can receive, make phone calls, text messages, emails, stream music, use Siri, all without your phone if you have the cellular model. Also, you get a 50% louder speaker, a built-in GPS, W3 Apple wireless chip, optical heart sensor, electrical heart sensor, ambient light sensor, Ion X strengthened glass, sapphire crystal and ceramic back, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 5.0, and say hello and activate the walkie-talkie feature with any contact that you have that also has an Apple Watch. And of course, you have the Apple Pay feature. So, um, let's just get a look at this and uh, see what it what is hitting for, you know what I mean? So you got the nice display right here, nice and bright. Um, I love this, this watch, you know what I mean? I'm coming from Samsung, I was a Samsung guy, I still am a Samsung guy, but I do love the uh, Apple ecosystem and their their products, you know, what I mean, are, are decent when they, you know, give you what you deserve. But um, nice uh, bright display looks good, you know. What I mean, you get your bezel right here. You see, I got a lock code on there, but you get your bezel right here. You have uh, your microphone here. You have your power button um, right here, and the back of it, you get the uh, ceramic. Uh, back sapphire crystal. This is also like your uh, sensor in the middle right here And you see it tells you what model watch you have so it says series 4 44 millimeter aluminum and ceramic case 
Um, it also says Ion X Glass GPS plus LTE and uh, water resistant 50 meters. So it tells you all that on the back of the case, which is pretty dope in itself. Um, you get two speakers right here. You have uh, this area where you can slide your uh, band in. Now, I don't use this band. This is the factory band, and I, I didn't really use it for long. I had it for about a week, and then I, I bought an uh, aftermarket uh, band. But I'm going to show you how to put these bands in and how to take them out. So all you do is line it up, and it simply slides in like so. Real easy, real simple. Now to remove it, all you want to do is press. There's a button here, button on both sides. You want to press it, and it'll slide right back out the same way. Real easy and uh, simple. No issues with that. All right, so let's move on from the band. Now, if you tap the uh, the wheel, if you tap that right there, it brings up all your apps. Now you can use your finger and scroll through all your apps and check them out and stuff like that. And you can also um, use the wheel to make them smaller, to make them bigger, you know what I mean, stuff like that. So uh, I love this wheel. It's really nice, uh, easy to navigate through. And uh, it's just a cool feature for the watch. Now you see you got your settings and all the apps that you have downloaded uh, on here are right there. All right. So if you double tap it, it'll take you to your uh, recent app that you use. You know what I mean? So uh, then right here you have your power button slash uh, Apple Pay button. So if you double tap it, it'll bring up your Apple Pay and uh, all that stuff. And then you slide it over and you got uh, your Apple uh, balance or whatever if you got money on there. Um, so you can use this watch for Apple Pay at the registers. If you long press it right here, you can uh, go through and change your uh, you can change your watch faces and you can also do this inside of your uh, phone if you go into the watch app on your phone so you can customize it you can change the position of everything um a couple customizations when it comes to that um but real easy and uh real nice if you uh go into here you can go into uh, make a phone call Go to recents, uh, favorites, contacts, keypad, voicemail. Um, if you want to make a uh, send a text message, you can go through your text messages right here. Send text messages, and all this you can do without a phone if you have the cellular model, the Wi-Fi, uh, the GPS Plus cellular model. If you don't have the uh, the cellular plus GPS model, then you'll have to be connected to your phone to do any of that stuff. All right. Um, some of the, uh, you got auto detection, uh, auto workout detection. So if you start running or something like that, that's going to pop up and uh, let you know uh, that it's going to start recording your uh, activity. Um, you got the walkie talkie function right here, which like I said, is pretty dope. If you got a friend that got walkie talk, it all has, a uh, Apple Watch and they could do the walkie-talkie feature. Um, you got the activity rings right here. So you have like um, the the blue is the breathe, the red. I forgot what all they mean, but you know I mean it's the activity trackers and you know they start letting you know if you're not being active enough and uh, things of that nature. So you scroll through. You have your uh, heart rate. Uh, app and it's trying to measure it right now, but I don't have the watch on so you can see what your uh, resting rate is walking average rate and uh, Stuff like that. You got the ECG app right here. We can hold your finger on the crown and it's going to check uh, My uh, ECG and all of that um, I got Spotify on here, so I listen to music on here. You can connect a pair of Bluetooth headphones to these. I have my AirPods connected to these, so I, I whip out my AirPods and boom, I could start listening to music um, with just these two. If I had no phone with me, I could just, you know, go on a run or something like that, a walk, and I could just, you know, listen to my music. Uh, I have my uh, 
Also, app, uh, iTunes, if you, you know, like iTunes, um, Apple Music, I don't really use. Uh, you got bank apps, all, like, all your apps are just on here, so you navigate through that, and, um, you know, that's a pretty hot feature. Now, if you go to the home screen, you scroll from the bottom to the top, you got a couple different things, it's your Wi-Fi, I mean, your, uh, cellular, uh, notification right here. This is your um, Wi-Fi notification. This right here will ping your phone. Here my phone pinging. So it just pings your phone to uh, find your phone. This tells you your battery percentage. This right here will turn on and off your ringer. This will put it in night mode. That's walkie talkie. Um, theater mode, I never use that. But it turns it on silent and uh, keeps the screen dark until you tap the uh, thing to turn it off. I never use that like I said. Then you have water detection and when you tap that right there and it says turn the digital crown to eject the water. So you hear that? Now that's supposedly uh, emitting sound to push out water if you you know got water into your watch. So real nice feature. And uh, the other features that they have, you got the flashlight, which is just makes your screen white because there's no actual, you know, flashlight on here. So decent little feature. Um, you got airplane mode, and then you have what is that? Apple AirPlay something like that but you can edit these you can change the position of where they are and all of that stuff if you want to if you scroll from left to right you go to the date if you scroll from right to left you don't get nothing scroll from top to bottom you bring up your activity tracker now the the bands that come with these with this watch it comes with like a small uh, a medium and a large well, it's two bands, but it's like a small and then a medium large combined band or whatever. But um, to me, it, it fits perfect, you know what I mean? And I have a pretty uh, big size wrist, but I have no problems with my watch fitting on my wrist. Um, it fits well, comfortably. Me personally, I just don't like the way they connect. Even though it's never unbuckled on me, you know what I mean? Because you get that connect right there. And you know it slides in and stuff like that. I just don't like the way that it connects. I prefer something with more security. So I bought one of these from Subcase, and uh, I got it on Amazon. And uh, you know it just slides in there and it's fully protected. You got the bumpers and all that. I'll put a link in the description for this, but I prefer the more traditional uh, style of the uh, you know latch and stuff like that for my band. You know more secure. I like that. All right, so before we get out of here, I'm gonna give y'all a few likes and dislikes about the uh, Apple Watch Series 4. So uh, I'm gonna do the dislikes first and then we'll get into the likes. Um, my first thing is not uh, many color options as far as the band goes. I mean, you get this one and then there's like three other colors. Now, as far as uh, bands, if you want different options in color, there's a lot of aftermarket companies who make bands for the Apple Watch so you're not going to have no problems finding them but it's just that if you want the, the official things from Apple you're not going to get many color options. The next thing is the notification uh, sound that you get so when I get a notification on my Apple Watch I get a bang. Now I work in a group home uh, with adolescent teenagers and everybody in the building feels like they got an Apple Watch. That's what it feels like to me. So when my watch bings, everybody looking around. Now most people, they just got, you know, kind of hip to the game and they just put days on uh, silent. I like to hear my notification when it goes off. You know what I mean? So I, I silence my phone and keep my, uh, my watch on so I don't have to look at my watch. It just bings and I know I got a notification so I pick up my phone. But uh, I would definitely like more options when it comes to notifications. Only having one and everybody having that same one can get irritating if you're around more people that have Apple Watches. The next thing is not a lot of Apple 
watch faces. Um, like I said, I'm coming from Galaxy, from Samsung, um, having a, the, the Gear Watch and the S3 and the new uh, Samsung Watch. You know what I mean? So those watches, and as well as other uh, you know brands of watches, have tons of watch faces. Now, yes, you can create uh, watch faces on here. If you see my face that I have on here, that's a, a, a custom face. So the face that I have on here is a custom face. I made that. So uh, that's real easy if you want to do that. Um, the next thing is that you can't play music through the watch speakers. Now, I was going through this for a while because I didn't know that you couldn't. So I'm sitting there and I'm playing music on my Apple Watch. And it, it's like I'm like not hearing anything. So I'm like, what is going on here? So, you know, what I mean, I go into the Bluetooth settings and I had to, you know, connect my Apple uh, AirPods or connect a Bluetooth device to actually hear the sound. Now there is speakers on here, obviously, because the watch makes notification sounds if you get a notification. So not being able to play uh, music through the speakers is, is kind of a fail on Apple's part. Like I said, coming from Samsung, you know, that was my, my daily driver for, you know, a year or some change. Um, I could play, uh, you know, uh, music on my watch all the time. So that's a, a big feature that I think Apple missed out on, which, you know, I don't think would have been hard to do, being that you already have speakers on the device. And the last thing is the price. Uh, these watches can get very, very pricey, um, you know, especially if you, you know, want the, uh, the GPS and cellular model. They're even, you know, more uh, pricey if you want the Hermes model and all that stuff. You know, but even just the basic versions of this watch can get pricey. Um, being that, you know, you get a lot of features, but then there's a lot of basic features that, you know, other watches that aren't as expensive have, and you don't get those features on this watch. So that, to me, is kind of a letdown. All right, so my likes for the Apple Watch. My favorite uh, thing for the Apple Watch is the uh, GPS navigation. That is one of the best features on here, uh, I believe, and I used it a lot. I didn't use it before I went on vacation. I went to North Carolina a few weeks ago, and um, you know what I mean? I connected my phone to uh, Apple CarPlay, and uh, you know what I mean? I'm going through the GPS and stuff like that. So when you set, uh, when you set a navigation, uh, a destination on your your phone or whatever on your watch when it's time to turn or take an exit or something like that your watch will vibrate to like let you know and then it actually has an arrow telling you which way to go so like it would tell me it'd be like three lanes you know going this way and they'd be like take the second lane you know what i mean stuff like that that was dope you know uh one of the next things that i like about uh this watch is the bigger brighter display now like i said this is my first apple watch so i don't know uh how small the previous models was or anything but i'm just going by what apple says that the display is bigger and brighter and uh you know always when you have uh something that is is bigger and displays when it comes to display size then obviously you get more real estate to see more things and uh stuff like that so i mean that's a plus always in my book um Next thing is I like that there is the GPS and the cellular models. Um, I really wouldn't have got the cellular model. My wife got it for me for uh, Father's Day. So uh, I'm not going to complain about it, of course. But, you know what I mean? Because there's not really many times that I'm out without my phone anyway. But just say if I, I wanted to go on a walk or something like that. And uh, I didn't want to take my phone with me. Then I have my watch and I'd be able to make all my phone calls and uh, text messages and you know still use uh, everything that I would be able to if I had my uh, phone on me. So that's pretty dope. Um, the build quality, look and design. Um, I like the, the look of it is, is definitely hot, you know what I mean? Um, the build quality is nice, you know what I mean? It's pretty sturdy, the ceramic back, you know, that uh, strength in glass. Um, the design is, is really nice. Um, simplistic, but, uh, you know, kind of got like a, you know, a good look to it. You know what I mean? I like the way it looked. Um, only downfall to the design is that it doesn't have a rotating bezel like the Samsung watch, which is like one of the hottest features ever. Um, but this watch definitely has its, uh, it's uh, pluses when it comes to the uh, build quality, look, and design. 
Um, the fall detection would be uh, definitely a, a plus feature um, for older people or people, you know, who might have epilepsy or, you know, anybody who, who falls and, you know, could possibly hurt themselves and might not be able to, um, you know, uh, let anybody know, notify anybody about them falling. The fall detection would definitely be a plus. Um, no, I haven't tried it out. I haven't tried to fall. I'm not going to. Um, but definitely that's a plus. Um, controlling my music while driving. This is another one of the hottest features. It's probably my second favorite feature besides the uh, GPS navigation. Now I'm going to show you uh, what I do because like I connect my phone uh, to my car. Now I connect it through the aux cable. So no, I don't have control through with the regular controls on my car. But when I'm listening to Spotify, I'm in the whip. You know what I mean? Let's say, um, uh, let's just jump back when I was into, let's say, that I'm, um, to say, like I'm listening to, to DMX. So I'm in the car, you know what I mean? My, what, my phone's in the center console or whatnot. I ain't trying to get no uh, copyright strike, but my phone's in the center console, whatever. And I'm sitting there driving, you know what I mean? Got my hand on the steering wheel, and I'm like, oh, I don't like this song right here. Let me switch the song. So I just flip my watch over, bang, you know what I mean? So you could just change the song on the watch without having to go into the phone to change the, uh, without having to change the song. Um, the next thing is the camera app. So if you go into your, your phone, or you go into your watch or whatever, and uh, you go through your uh, applications, and you go to your camera, you see it open up the camera on your phone. You know what I mean? So all I got to do, boom, I can take a picture just like that. Turn it around. Take a picture of me while I'm recording. Bang, just like that. The uh, last thing that I have on my like list is the customization. Now, anybody knows who uh, has Apple products and buys Apple products that the customization and aftermarket uh, products that you can get for Apple products is like the biggest probably of any other company. Um, everybody makes something for an Apple product. So even if it's the, the cheapest, you know what I mean? Something that you get at Fab Below to, you know, something that you get from Gucci, a Gucci band or something like that or whatever. Everybody makes an accessory for an Apple product. So it's no different with the Apple Watch. You can find aftermarket bands. You can find all type of stuff when it comes to uh, Apple products. So the customization to me, is a big plus when it comes to the look of your band. So all in all, um, after uh, wearing this and rocking it for a few months, and and you know, uh, you know, transferring over from Samsung, I could definitely say that I love this Apple Watch. It's uh, I love the Apple ecosystem. You know, the AirPods, the the watch, the phone, the iPad. You know, all of that. You know, what I mean, it's all. Uh, one big ecosystem and I love how they all integrate with each other um, that watch is definitely comfortable so comfortable comfort level you're not gonna have an issue um, everything about this watch to me uh, makes it on point I can't uh, really tell you should you upgrade um, rather than you know most times when you get a newer model it's gonna be better than the previous model I can't say hey you know I have experience with this with you know series three series two series one so you should get an upgrade because of that because I, I've never used one but my experience with this watch alone that this watch is definitely top of the line when it comes to smart watches so I could definitely recommend it from that standpoint that you should definitely uh, if you're in the market for a smart watch they probably a little cheaper now than they were when they first came out grab you one of these get you some bands and you know what I mean you in the game ready to go all right, but it's D-O-A-K-A Bonds, Urban Tech Reviews. If you like this video, click that thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, you can do it easily by clicking on the Android guy in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. If you're not following me on all my social media sites, then all you got to do is go into the description, click on every one of them links, and follow me on every one of my social media sites. And we out.